Well, the active weather continues here across the nation, and as we slide into this May, typically we really start to see that severe weather ramp up, and we're going to have several severe threats over the next few days, mainly in the central and southern U.S. More mountain snow continuing, kind of wrapping up here this morning, but uh, take a look at the storm system. You can see this dark plume. That is some drier air working into the backside of that storm, which is uh, really firing up several uh, rounds of showers and thunderstorms over the central and the southern plains. The blue colors indicate the convective nature to that thunderstorm activity. We also have some snow in the inner mountain west. So as we uh, step you through time here, showers and storms continuing into this Wednesday, maybe deteriorating a little bit and then redeveloping as we head into the afternoon and evening, not only here, but also through the Ohio Valley and parts of the northeast today, tomorrow, and even into Friday. So with that said, we're looking at some locally heavy rains here. There's your snow continuing even out into the plains, but uh, some of that snow Snow again is going to be fairly minimal and pretty slushy. Rapid City could see a slushy couple of inches and then maybe a little bit as you get into the arrowhead of Minnesota. A winter weather advisory has been issued for the UP of Michigan. We have some lingering winter weather advisories and warnings across the plains. And as I mentioned, where we have that heavy rain threat from Dallas, Fort Worth up to the Ohio Valley, flash flood concerns for the potential of three to five inches of rain. And again, uh, some pretty widespread one to two inch tallies within that. Yesterday, we had a number of hail high wind and even tornado reports. Today's threats an enhanced risk from Dallas Fort Worth back west to uh, near Lubbock and then even down near San Antonio we have some severe weather. Uh, slight risk on your Thursday over the central part of Texas up to the Ohio Valley and another marginal threat on Friday in central Texas and then even up near Washington DC. Temperatures out ahead of the storm system are quite warm. We're looking at uh, 80s and even close to 90 in the southeast but much cooler as you head farther north.